So I had this idea. Since I have more CNC's than hairs left on my head, I thought, why not give each CNC its own custom warning sign based on its personality? Sounds easy, right? But here's the catch. I didn't design these, you guys did. I asked CIC Academy members to send me their best caution sign ideas, and to be honest, some of these hit a little too close to home. So we're cutting out six signs that you guys designed, starting on our smallest CNC, going all the way to our industrial powerhouse. Let's get right into it. So the very first sign we're gonna cut is on the very first CNC that I ever bought, a Laguna IQ, and I bought this for $6,000. And dad right here so graciously let me put it in his shop at the time, right Pops? Yes, and when he moved, I told him it's not going with him, it's staying here. Yeah. And we grew so much from this first one, and then I actually bought a second Laguna IQ. So we're gonna do a test that I've never done before, me and dad are both gonna cut the exact same sign out on the exact same CNC and see if one's a little bit faster than the other. So the material we're making this out of today is probably me and dad's new favorite material. It is a color core, so it's a dual layered HDPE. So Pops, this very first sign was designed by Chad and okay. we're cutting it out on these CNC's because that once you see the sign, it hits home. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. So okay. Chad, thanks man. Oh. Ready Pops? One, two, three. That's so cool. Dude, my bit, my CNC is smoking yours, Pops. Well, what, what I'm noticing on why this one's going a little bit faster, so when the machine thinks a little bit and it's reading those G-code lines, see how it's quicker on the corners? It doesn't really pause any. Watch this machine. Watch how much as it pauses whenever it has to think. Watch. See that pause? That right there, that pause is what's causing it to go slower. And so this machine right here, it looks like the controller is reading those lines a little bit faster because this is a newer model. And so it doesn't need that extra pause. Five minutes, 18 seconds, and we have a fully complete sign. Right. My sign took six minutes and 46 seconds to cut out. So same CNC, same exact sign, about a minute longer. Dad, how, how do you feel about what this sign says? So thanks, Chad. Yep, <laughs> they always look easier on YouTube. I think that's pretty cool. I've got wall space, I'm gonna hang it up. That looked like a good spot. Okay. Now, that's your sign, this is mine. Do not take my sign. Now, let's go into the next CNC. All right, we're now in the big shop and we're gonna be using the Shapeoko 5 Pro to cut out the next sign and this sign was designed by Donnie. Donnie, this one's for you and this sign's really funny. You're gonna like it. <laughs> All right, so we have the Shapeoko running. We just programmed it right here on the laptop. And the reason I'm so excited for making all these signs in this video is because when I was coming up, I didn't get to see a lot of different CNC's. I was kind of left in no man's land. And so in this video, you'll literally get to see six different price points of six different types of CNC's. So you can grow that base of CNC knowledge, which is paramount to like your CNC journey. And so if you want any of this material that we're using today, check it out on CIC Workshop. We have yellows, blues, greens, black, whites, all of that good stuff. It's really fun to make stuff with your CNC. I hope you check us out. Thank you. All right, so this sign right here is so fitting for the shape Oko because typically this is like the first CNC people get and they have no idea that a CNC screams. And if you knew anything about Donnie, this sign fits him so well. And if you are in CIC Academy, leave a comment in the comment below. Um, 
yeah, it's hilarious. So on to the next sign. All right, we are back in the shop. Dad is back and dad, what are we about to do? We're gonna cut a sign out with the art mill this time and let's get rolling on it. All right, let's do You'll it. You'll be surprised what it looks like. Put on my spectacles. So this sign right here was designed by Kevin. He's a member of CIC Academy and all of the signs that are in this video today were all designed by CIC Academy members. So CIC Academy is where I host a ton of videos where I teach very in-depth about CNC's. We have a weekly Q&A, a weekly live stream, and if you do sign up, there is a free one-week trial. Pretty good. So all the signs that we're making today, they're all able to be made with just a single eighth inch O-flute bit. It's what I recommend for cutting out this HDPE. So we just stopped the machine and dad will explain a little tweak we just made. Okay, if you notice on this cut, we have this little feather right here that's gonna be left behind. We had two passes made with the bit this is the profile, and so what we did... We came in with a negative 0.01 offset. So it will take should be able to take that feather out right there. That way we don't have to mess with it when it's all said and done. Yeah, look at that, Steven. That's cool. Precision, baby. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> okay, Kevin, I love it. It looks good. This is a shark eating machine because you don't know where it's going to go unless you've been working with it. Even Ryan's been working with it, and he still jumps it when it comes up and then all of a sudden moves to the center. It's like, you know, the shark will jump out and get you. Yeah, this machine... You don't know it. Yeah, so it has really fast rapid rates, so it's moving so fast, just like that shark. So, Kevin, thank you so much. It'll hang up right back here. Now, on to the next CNC. This is the second CNC that Ryan bought. I think back then it was $20,000 that he paid for it. We put it in here. We had this room made for it. When he moved to the big shop, I told him he couldn't take it because it wouldn't fit out the door. So I got squatters right, <laughs> so it's mine now. And a couple cool things about this machine. Uh, one, it's funny that it actually has the same size spindle as the Laguna IQ. So the same exact spindle, same exact controller, just a little bit bigger body. Let's get to cutting. This sign was made by Lynn, so thank you Lynn. This starts to hit home a little bit, it gets a little personal. I'll show you after we cut it out. All right, so we just finished the sign and dad is going to get a little tool he's gonna to teach y'all about. But I didn't actually make this for dad, but he did touch it and put lots of blood on it. And cut his hand literally on the spinny thing. So, oh, there dad is now. All right, Pops, you want to show them your, your trick right here? This is called a deburring tool. When I worked at a sheet metal shop, I've used this to deburr the metal. If you notice the edge on these things, is pretty sharp. So I just, you just lay the deburring tool, you pull it across, you spin these little curls off that you can, and it rounds the edge up. Yep. If you want the digital file for any of these signs we're making, we will have them for sale on CIC Workshop. But if you want them for free, check the link in the description. Blood, sweat, and tears on this CNC. And if 
You're not cutting it close. You ain't cutting it right. right. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the next one. All right, now we're back inside the industrial shop and this is the very first industrial CNC that I ever bought. I believe it was like $70,000 when I bought it. And so there's a couple little cool things that I never had up until this point. So before we cut out this sign, watch this. Pop-up pins, like what? So let's get this sign cut out. This sign was designed by Luca, who's an Italian inside of CIC Academy. And I'll tell you more about him later. Let's get to cutting. Vacuum table has it held down. Let's run it. So as this sign gets cut out on the shop saber, there's like a couple cool things to note is that even though this machine's massive and is much bigger and has an automatic tool changer, I can't go any faster, right? It's still going the same speed as the Che Poco, as the Altville, as the Swift, as the IQ, because it has the constraint of the size of the bit. And so always keep that in mind when you're looking and, you know, fascinated with these bigger machines. It's like most of the time you don't need them to cut out fun stuff like this. And I think that's really important to note um, and really hard to really comprehend and understand. So, if you ever watch Futurama, that's Fry, by the way. So, this is a sign that Luca designed, and Luca is one of those CNC machinists that is very technical, puts everything underneath the microscope, is like very, very precise. Whereas me, I'm just a guy that likes to use safety squints, so to remind me to not do that, that sign's going right back over here. So now we're gonna head to the final CNC and cut out our last sign, and I want y'all guys to vote on y'all's favorite signs, so leave a comment down below on which sign today was your favorite. Let's go. Now it's time for the final caution sign. We are at my industrial dual head, dual table CNC. This cost right at $300,000 for me, so I call it my Lamborghini. And just for this program, and just keep in mind, this is a massive industrial machine, it took us over an hour to get this machine set up just to cut out these signs. So give us a like and subscribe because it was a total pain in the butt. Now, I am gonna bring in somebody to help out here. So this is Thomas. Thomas is the head of customer service for CIC Workshop. And you've probably talked to him multiple times and received a phone call from him if you order from CIC Workshop. So Thomas, what do we got today? How are we gonna run it? Uh, we're cutting out two caution signs. Uh, they're 47 inches apart approximately. Both of these heads are set up on this first table here. And what's interesting about this one is that the Y axis is actually going sideways from our perspective yep. and the X axis are the aluminum tables here that are moving back and forth. We're using an eighth inch O-flute upcut bit for the pocketing as well as the quarter inch upcut O-flute bit that we're going to do for the profile. Yep. And we should be good. Yep, so Thomas said we usually do a dry run. He's really confident. Look at that face of confidence right there. He wants to show off for you guys. So I'm gonna get the vacuum pump turned on We'll suck all this down. So one of the cool things too about this machine is that it has these automatic vacuum pumps. So like, look how cool this is, watch. No vacuum, right? No vacuum at all. You push that vacuum, sucks everything down except the material that we want to get sucked down. Well, that is just a coinky dink. Little quick fix here. Because we have all these lines on this table, it, the vacuum is just escaping. So me and Thomas are gonna grab some tape real quick. We'll tape out these corners and then it'll get held. All right, so we got it taped down and this just shows you like whether you have a massive CNC or a hobby CNC, the same problems still occur. All right, go ahead, Thomas. Whatever floats your boat, man. All right, so it's cutting out the outsides first. Is What's the next step here? Uh, the next step it's gonna do is the profile of the cutout of the signs. 
it's gonna pocket and then pocket the pattern that we put on the back of the board and then it's gonna profile. Okay, but is it gonna do both boards and yes. then cut them out last? Okay, sweet. That's crazy though, man, look at that. That's the most beautiful thing. So it's taken a little bit. Uh, Thomas programmed only a 20% step over instead of a like 60% step over. You know, in hindsight, you know, hindsight's always 2020, and apparently my step over is too. So yeah, yeah. So it may take a little longer than usual, but uh, you know, who has a life? It doesn't like you know. It's not like I have a one-year-old waiting on me in my house or anything. So as Thomas programmed it a little slower, we only cut out one, but uh, we still cut out, I guess, two at a time, but we only decided to cut out one on each piece. And everybody still has their fingers. Everybody still has their fingers. Not, not unlike dad over here. But I will say though, the cut quality on this massive machine, and like me and Thomas were checking this out, it is so good, crazy good. So let us know which one of these signs that you like Leave that in the comments. So let Lynn know if his sign was the best. Let Thomas know if his sign was the best. We have Donnie's right here. Luca's right here. We have Chad's right here. And we have Kevin's right here. So CSE Academy, big thank you. Hope you like these signs. Check the link in the description if you want them for free. And as always, guys, remember, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.